How to download Streamlabs OBS. Well, that's what I'm going to show you guys in this super quick and easy tutorial. So if this video has helped you out, please let me know in the comments or simply just leave a like so I actually know that this video has helped you out. So what you pretty much want to do is simply search for Streamlabs. Over here, you will get the official website, which you obviously want to open up. And here you want to click on download Streamlabs desktop. So click on there. This will uh, download the installer here at the top right corner. And you simply just have to wait until the installer is done downloading. Once it is done downloading, um, you simply just want to open up the installer. Then this is the installer. So simply just click on I agree. Um, you can change here a destination folder or just leave it like that and simply click on install. Now it's currently installing and we'll just have to wait for this to be done. And then I'll show you guys how to open it up. By the way, it will also download the Microsoft visuals. If you haven't downloaded these already, uh, it will automatically do this. So um, don't worry about that. Once it is done, you can now see, uh, you can now click on finish and it will automatically run Streamlabs. So um, let's just wait for this to open up. And there we go. So here we can see, welcome to Streamlabs. How do you plan to use Streamlabs desktop? So you can either choose to click on record only or use it for live streaming. So I'm going to select live streaming because um, to be honest, if you only use it for recording, then just download the regular OBS. Um, but um, yeah, so I'm going to select on live streaming. Here it says, what type of creator are you? Beginner, intermediate adv or advanced? So here you can see, I want to be guided step by step. I need a little help getting started or I like to set up things myself. This is up to you. But um, if you've never used Streamlabs before, beginner should be the best option. Click on continue. So here you can sign up with your Streamlabs um, ID. Now you can also skip this and do this later if you would like to, or just create an account right now. So here you can also, if you have, for example, used uh, OBS Studio before to, for streaming or even use Twitch Studio uh, for streaming, uh, you can import those all of those settings immediately inside of Streamlabs. I didn't do that, so I'm going to click on Start Fresh. So here we can also see our webcam. Uh, we can even use some presets and then also select our uh, correct microphone. Then simply click on Continue. So here we can already add an overlay. Um, there is a bunch of different overlays inside of Streamlabs, which you can download as well. So you can choose a default overlay here or simply just skip this and do that later. But I think I'm just going to go with uh, this one here. You can actually see a couple of previews. Um, so here's the red one, for example. I think the red one looks cool. So for now, I'm just going to choose this one. But like I said, there is a lot of different overlay templates, which you can download later as well. So simply click on install, and then this will start installing. And I'm simply just going to choose uh, the free version and then click on get started. Now, this is how our uh, Streamlabs will look like. This might look a little bit overwhelming at first, but it kind of just explains everything for you. So here you can log in. Um, this is where your scene collections uh, are. So clicking the title will drop down a menu where you can view and manage. So here you can see the different scenes, like starting soon, be right back, ending soon, and then uh, also an intermission. So this is just your regular scene. And then here you can see all these sources. So here you can see the sources like your webcam, alert box, and the game capture. Now what you can, for example, do is click on the source properties. And here um, you can set it to auto or, for, for example, capture any full screen application or capture a specific window. Then here you can select uh, your game, for example. But I'm just going to leave it on uh, any full screen audio, to be honest. And then here in the bottom right corner, you can simply click on go live. Now, currently it says unknown error. And that's obviously because we have not connected our Streamlabs to any platform. And then here in the bottom left corner, we can actually log in. So here, what we can do is either log in with our Streamlabs account or ID or log in with a platform. So you can choose Twitch, YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, TikTok. Um, 
uh, Trovo, DLive, and Nemo TV as well. So what I'm going to do in this case is simply just log in with YouTube because, for example, I want to stream on YouTube. This will bring you over to Google, as you can see, and you simply want to select the correct account. If you have multiple channels, it will ask you which channel you want to use. Then you need to allow this in order for Streamlabs to actually work. And then here you have to enter, uh, your, complete your account setup. And once this is done, it will bring you over back to Streamlabs. And as you can see, we have now added our YouTube channel. So now this menu on the left will pop up with some more options. Like here you can see editor, layout editor, studio mode. Here you can see overlays. So if you go to scene and here are a bunch of overlays which you can download as well. A lot of them are free. Some uh, do cost money though. But here you can get a bunch of overlays you like. Here you can also go to the alerts and widgets with a bunch of different uh, as well. So here you have the app store. So you can add apps to your um, stream. Here's the highlighter. And then, um, yeah, that is pretty much everything to be honest. And the rest is actually pretty easy to figure out. So that is pretty much how to download Streamlabs OBS.